Hello, welcome back everyone. If you are new here, my name is Melissa Cantu and I'm the host of this channel where we talk about all things mindset, manifestation, self-development, and so much more. So I'm actually coming to you today in the car. I'm at um, the school waiting to pick up my youngest and you know, I've been having some crazy busy days and every time I've gone to go record this, something has come up and it's kind of ironic for the time. Some of the things that make people successful in following through their goals. Aristotle says 95% of everything we do is a result of our habit. So if you're tired of living in a rut, tired of being in that hamster wheel, it's time to get out, time to get off. So why does it feel like bad habits are so easy and good habits are so hard. And that's because the habits, the routines, and the systems you have in place are not conducive and they're not complementing what you're looking for and what you're working towards. So I read a book back in 2020 called Atomic Habits by James Clear. I actually have that on my shelf somewhere over here. There we go, back over here. Um, and I really love that book because he talks about how to create a new habit. He talked about the habit loop. And when I read through not only the entire book, but understanding what the habit loop is, it made sense. If bad news is, I'll start with the bad news, is that we can't get rid of the bad habits, but the good news is we can replace them with the new ones. And that's where the habit loop comes in, right? When we think about um, the habit loop, and, and James Clear talks about this in Atomic Habits, but I'll kind of go through some of the key points is, you know, he talks about this loop. And we're constantly living in this loop of the way that we do things. And we happen to find ourselves when we're in that hamster wheel. Again, we're in this loop, right? So the habit loop is basically four steps. Well, four essential roles that are in the loop. And the first one is cue. Make it obvious. The second is craving. Make it attractive. Third is response. Make it easy. And fourth is the reward. Make it satisfying. So when we think about goals, the first and foremost is making it obvious, it's by goal setting. Where goal setting comes in, right? It's not just setting goals at the beginning of the year, it's also setting goals for each month and then breaking it down into weekly and then into daily and that's where the micro goals come in. But making it obvious so that you know what you're working towards. The second is the craving, making it attractive. What is gonna be attractive about having that goal and accomplishing that goal. Well, the goal actually comes through those habits and routines, right? So what are some of the habits that you can do that are gonna get you towards that step? How can you make it attractive? So really getting down into the detail, now you have to make it easy. And that's where habit stacking can come into um, play where we put one habit on top of another, we can group things together. So, you know, it's about creating this system so that when you wake up in the morning, you drink water, you wash your face, you make your bed, get dressed. And so creating like these systems, you have the reward, make it satisfying. What is the end game, right? What is the end goal? And so making it very satisfying. So as far as having these habits and routines and systems in place, you know, the most important part is being here now, right? Being present. You know, what can you do now? What can you do today to help you move closer to your goals? You know, what are some of the, what are some of the things that you can do, um, you know, in your community? You know, how can you get connection? And so one of the biggest things, you know, is creating these systems, but understanding that there is morning and then there's night routines, right? So start analyzing what your morning habits are. What are you doing during the day? What are your evening habits? And I'll make another video on this as far as like separating the morning and the evening habits, but just for some examples, some of the things that you can do in the morning, um, first and foremost for me, I love to brain dump, uh, meditate, drink some water, journaling, move for 30 minutes, yoga, walk, do affirmations, and plan a goal, one goal for the day. And evening habits you can do are reflect on your day, gratitude, what are three things that you're thankful for that day, plan for your next day, take care of yourself, shower, wash, you know, your face, take care of your skin, brush your teeth, you know, meditate. If you have trouble sleeping at night, meditation might be good uh, for you. Um, avoid screen time at least 30 minutes before bed. And that way you can just start shutting down the brain and then read maybe 20, 30 minutes. So those are all habits that you can do in the evening and I'll break it down more even um, into separate videos talking about the morning and the evening because obviously 
So I really hope you enjoyed this video. These are all things that successful people all do um, from studying like Jack Canfield, Bob Proctor, um, and some of the other um, well-known um, successful people. One of the biggest things is like these habits that we do and these systems and the routines that we put in place. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.